All right, welcome back. So now, as we said earlier, we're going to add some um, like trees and obstacles in our little map. Um, first, probably want to extend this. This is a little bit small. So right now, you can see we cannot select our uh, base tile map. They just won't let you select it. So first, we need to unlock it. So to unlock it, you right click, go to lock, and then you unlock all. We'll go over layers later, but we'll unlock all, and now we can select it. All right, so now we have this. Let's extend this area a little bit, like such. All right, feel free to spend a little bit more time, but since I'm just doing a demo, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, we'll do more later. Okay, so I'll lock this again, so I don't select it by accident. Okay, so now I'm going to add some trees uh, and stuff to decorate the level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, into a new object, and I'm going to add a new tile map. This is under general again. Click, and then load. Uh, then we can go back to our asset folder and select the nature tile set, uh, tile map. Okay, good. So we have the tile map here. Um, same thing, 32 by 32. Okay, so let's put some trees here. So, um, remember we need to click this one to paint. Okay, I'm going to control zoom to zoom in. I'm going to put some trees here. Like such. Then you can take the top one to close this off like this. Put a little forest here. All right. So now it looks a little bit better, right? Um, let's see, what else do we want to put in here? What else do we have? Well, we have a little sign here. Maybe we can have a little sign so when the player enter this area, it gives them a little notice or something. Um, let's see. Then we have some rocks that we can just put in different places. I feel all places though. All right, you know, I'm just not gonna do it then. Let's just stick like this for now. Okay, so now let's change this tile map. Whoops, this one. This is this one. Call this tile map uh, solid. All right, so let's test play our game. So you can see, uh, we can walk through the trees. So that's not good. We need to make sure that the character can't move through the forest. So what what can we do? Well, we can actually select this layer right here and then go to behavior, add a new behavior and make this a solid. This way, the character cannot move through it. As you can see, the character will just stop right at where the trees are. So that way, um, it limits the movements of the character. Um, we should probably scale the character down a little bit. It seems a little bit big. Alright. So you can see I cannot select my character because um, this object is on top. So what, what can I do? Like So I can lock this layer like what we did earlier. So now we can select this again. Alright, so shift and then um, do the to, click here to scale it down. Okay, so now, as you can see, like, this is good because now the trees kind of limit our movement, but we can still walk through the ocean. So what can we do? Well, so think about it a little bit. Uh, the solution is actually very easy. You just go back to the, um, the solid tile map. Remember, we need to unlock all. Okay, and then, 
we can uh, add like a outer boundary to this layer because this layer have a solid behavior so that way the character cannot move through it so for example I'm going to lock down this beach so that um, the character cannot move through it so I'm going to paint this here um, and then here we can use this to round it off hmm like this. Well, it took a lot of time to paint this correctly, but I think you get the point. You just um, select the right one and just keep working on it and work your way around it. I think it is, nope, this one. Okay, all right, let's give this a try. All right, see we can, now, now we cannot move through here. As you can see, there's a big gap here There's a big gap, right? Like, um, we should be able to go all the way up to the edge. What's going on here? Basically, this whole 32 by 32 block is a solid. So that way, that's why when your character moved to here, it stopped it. It does not let it go through it because it's a solid object. All right, so I think now it's a good time for you to keep going and just make the border around. Um, so I'll fast forward this part of the video because it's uh, kind of boring. All right, so I think we went all the way around. Let's fill this up a bit so we go back to the base layer. So like this. Now let's check if we did our thing correctly. All right, see, like this is the solid layer, right? It's only the surrounding and then some of the trees and signs. And the base layer, it's just this part. All right, so let's move it back, save it. And then let's lock this one and lock this one so we don't move it by accident again. Okay, let's test play. All right, this is working pretty well. Okay. So now that um, our level is completed, um, so the next video, we're going to make our characters a little bit more interesting. So you see how um, right now when we move, the player is still doing the idle movement, uh, the idle animation. And that's not very interesting. That's not really matching. Uh, so we want to switch him into a walking animation. So we're going to work on that animation next. See you in the next video.